Well, a little update on my uh, my purchase here. It was uh, I was pretty impressed with it until just recently when uh, it stopped working. I've got, uh, as you can tell, it's torn apart. I've got some parts sitting in a little box here. And here is the problem. Uh, you take a thousand dollar mill drill and you do, the, the thing is really excellent. It's the engineering on it is very good. And then they stick in plastic gears. So this broke in half. It sheared a couple teeth off of this one. And I got on the, uh, the reviews with Grizzly and sure enough everybody's complaining about this. Uh, but there's a outfit called uh, Little Machine Shop. They make steel gears to replace these. So I spent another $87 on a gear set which uh, arrived today. So I'll be putting those in there and we're going to get rid of these plastic gears. Uh, it was an interesting story. <laughs> when I called the customer service they said these are sacrificial gears that they break so that it doesn't ruin something else. And I said, gee, that's a really nice story if I was an 86-year-old grandmother. I said, you know, you can put in a shear pin, you can put in a slip clutch, you can do a lot of things. You don't put plastic gears in there. And it is a major project to replace these. Here's all the stuff I had to take apart. So I got new gears for it. They sent me new gears. And I reinforced them. I put wire around here and around here. But I'm not going to use these. But they did send me the gears, so I'll give them credit for that. But uh, this whole thing, the motor has to come off, this this housing has to come out, you have to split this case in order to get the gears out of here. Uh, if you're going to make sacrificial gears, what you'll do is you would have do, done the one that goes to the motor here, which is still plastic, but you know the torque is much less here than it is at the, at the arbor. But this would be a, a 10 minute job to replace that. This is a couple hours. And uh, actually the reassembly was a couple hours, it went pretty good. Uh, once you put it together though, you can't grease the gears. So what I did is between, there's a seam right here, I actually laid a piece of tin foil in there when I bolted it together and siliconed it and I filled this cavity here with grease. And I put the tin foil here to keep the grease from migrating back into uh, this section here because this is hollow and it would start to infiltrate down into the uh, into this section here. So this is all greased and that should last a lifetime. It is a two-speed and everything works. Uh, she's looking pretty good right now. probably help if I had a sharp bit, but that's a good test. Uh, that's where the plastic gears would probably break. So if you have one of these, this is a uh, Grizzly 0781, and I'm sure the other ones like this are uh, also plastic gears. When I called them about this, it was kind of funny. Uh, the guy says, well, you know, we put plastic gears in there on purpose because those are sacrificial gears. And if you, you know, stop the chuck, instead of it wrecking something more important, it breaks those gears. Well, there's a plastic gear between the motor and the main drive here. And uh, that's plastic, and it's, it's fine to be plastic because there's two bolts you pull out here, and then there's six for this housing. And you can pull the housing up, slip the new gear, and put it back together. You can be back going in about 10, 15 minutes. So that's kind of a stupid thing to say. Uh, I told him, I said, well, you know, that's a fine story for someone who's a 96-year-old grandmother, but it didn't fly with me too well. So they sent me the gears. You know, the other option is you take this whole 200-pound thing, package it up, and send it back to them, and then they send you another one just like it that's going to be shiny but still broken because the gears will break right away. So, you know, rather than screw around with it, I just spent the $87. I'll put a link in the description below. Anybody's got anything like this. Uh, you can go to a little machine shop, get the gears, toss them in. Uh, I didn't video any of the assembly because it's pretty, you know, if you take the exploded diagram 
of this unit, take it apart and put it back together. You know, I only probably have a half a dozen extra parts right now. No, actually I got a couple. There's a shield that goes on here. I elected not to put that back on there because it really serves no purpose except it's, you know, it makes it look a little prettier. That's really the only thing. And then, when you go to take this apart, on the other side here where the uh, electronics are, there's one screw, just a tiny little sheet metal screw that goes into there. Well, that didn't get replaced uh, because you have to kind of fight these apart. There's actually a couple locator pins on there and you actually have to take a sharp chisel and stick it in the joint here and actually pound these things apart. And then that stupid screw was holding me up, so I took the screw and flung it because it really doesn't have to be there. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's noisier than it was. I mean, it always made this noise. But it's better. It's better than it was. And it might actually quiet down after the gear set. So right now, I'm again pleased. So we'll see. I'm going to sharpen this bit and uh, continue.